Um, this oh. good afternoon everyone hi i can see a few people connecting a few people's audio is still connecting if you can just make sure that your name uh if you can just make sure that your name is the name of your child if you're using a work ipad or something like that try and uh try and get that name correct on there for us that'd be great i don't want to do that Right. You should just be seeing me now. It shouldn't be bouncing around too much. We'll uh, we'll have some opportunities to turn the microphones on and have a bit of a chat. Um, what I'll do before we get started is I'll just go through a bit of the session plan. Uh, obviously, introduce myself because I know we will have a lot of new uh, participants in today, which is which is terrific. Um, and and I hope to sort of get around at least digitally um, to say hi to everyone and, and to say welcome and to thank you for for, for joining us today. So the, the session plan, um, for those that haven't seen it, I sent it out to, to parents via email. You might just hear my pup in the background barking. Hopefully she's gonna poke her head in on the camera just here on the window, but she's out of view right now. But that's why I set the camera up how it is because she might make a little cameo in the background there, my little German shepherd pup. 
she's very vocal. Um, I don't know if you can hear her through the headphones. So what we're going to do is we will do some introductions and we're going to do a bit of an active warm up. We're going to get moving with some high knees and things like that. We're going to do a great Aussie hoops drill called Paddy Mills skill. I thought that was pretty good considering, uh, you know, we've just come off the Olympics and obviously Paddy was, you know, arguably our best performer and our leading scorer. Um, then we're going to do fundamentals of ball handling. Okay. So we're, we've got our, our younger age groups here today. So it's good to touch on the fundamentals of ball handling and a couple of challenges. Then we've got a really fun game called Farmer's Gates. I'll talk about that more in a minute because you will need a little bit of equipment. Uh, and we're going to finish off with an Olympic or, or sort of Paralympic um, uh, Olympics and Paralympics type of a challenge, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. Just some, just some challenges. And we're going to give out some gold, silver and bronze medals, um, hypothetical ones. So, all right. So what we'll do is we'll make a start. Guys that don't know me, my name is my name's Jared. I, uh, I work at Frankston Basketball. I'm the basketball development manager. Um, I'm also a, a player in our NBL1 men's side. Um, and I've played basketball since I was about eight years old. So probably a little bit older, maybe the same age as some of our kids in here today, maybe a little bit older. Um, but I love the game. I've always loved it. I work in it full time. I work at the stadium and I play. Um, I can't get enough of it. So much like you guys, I'm, you know, I'm missing being at the stadium right now. I'm missing seeing all of you at Aussie hoops and mini hoops and all abilities. And, you know, if you play in our domestic comps already, then that's great as well. But it's good that you're here today to get moving um, and to get active. So what we'll do is we'll get started with a bit of a warm up. All right. A little bit of a warm up. And then we're going to get into our first drill, our Paddy Mills skill. So you won't need your basketball. For today's session, what you will need, if you've got any, is a couple of, of cones similar to this. If you don't have cones, that doesn't matter. Um, you can just grab some rocks or some sticks or anything you've got nearby around the house uh, to sort of use as, as like training cone, just to mark out some space. And I'll show you guys a little bit more about that. Make sure you've got a drink bottle nearby. Basketball's down. And we're going to get into our warm up. All right. So I'm just going to quickly mute everyone. You will be able to unmute yourself later on. I'm just going to quickly mute everyone. We can't hear you. I apologize, I muted myself. I've got two cameras going here. Thank you for that. All right, everyone should be able to hear me now. So moving back away from the camera, take a step back. We need some space and we're just jogging on the spot. So we're gonna do five exercises for about 30 seconds. So jogging on the spot, we're not quite high knees just yet. Just jogging, 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 moving our arms, moving our feet, bouncing on the balls of our feet at this point. So I'll move back so you can see my feet. On the balls of your feet, jogging up and down. I can see a few of you aren't moving. Take a couple of steps back from the camera and start jogging a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna drive our knees up as high as we can. So a bit longer strides driving our knees up, still pumping our arms back and forth. Good job, guys. You guys keep going. We've got about 15 seconds to go. Good, excellent. I'm gonna keep counting. Keep going, don't stop just because I've stopped. I'm coming to watch you guys. Excellent. Good job. Great job, Phoenix. I can see you there. Great work. Boston and Atlanta, great names. Wow, terrific. Good job, Sasha and Sean, keep up with dad. All right, hold it there. This one's a bit of a tricky one. This is one of my favorites. It's like a star jump or a jumping jack, but we go across our body. Okay, so it's, it's like a star jump. So when your arms go out, your feet go out. As they come in, your arms go across. So it's just like a star jump, but we're almost wrapping our arms across our bodies. So if you want to start with a star jump, that's fine. So as our arms go up, our feet go out as our arms come in, 
our feet go down. If you want to do star jumps, that's fine. We're going to do 30 seconds. I like these ones across my body. Across my body like that. Warming up my upper body as well. Warming up my shoulders because we're going to do heaps of dribbling. You know, if you've got a hoop nearby, we might be able to do some shooting in the breaks. If you don't have a hoop, that's okay. You don't need it necessarily for today's session. Go for another five seconds here. Three, two, one. Awesome. Okay. All right. A couple of quick stretches. Make sure you've got your drink nearby. A couple of really quick stretches. Oh, we're just going to do a quick quad stretch or, or front of your leg here, upper leg here. So you're going to grab, I'm going to go my right foot first. Okay. And I'm just pulling my right heel to my, to my bum. All right. You should feel that stretch down the front of our quad here. Excellent. If you find yourself having to hop around, stand still or put your hand on the wall or something, have a look down at the ground. Try and focus on one spot on the ground. Swap legs. So left leg now. Same thing, bringing that left foot up. Good job. If you find yourself hopping around, try and put your hand on the wall or, or stand still. Focus on a spot on the concrete or on the ground. Guys, if you're inside as well, I can see a few of you are doing the session inside. That's okay. Just make sure you got mum and dad's permission before you get the basketball out and start bouncing it around. I don't want to see any broken lamps or vases or TVs or anything like that. I don't want any invoices for any expensive furniture coming my way, okay? So make sure you've got mum and dad's permission. Don't put dirty hands on walls and stuff like that, all right? <laughs> okay, make sure you've got your drink nearby. We are going to go into our first drill. So some of you who have done Aussie Hoops before may have done this exercise. All right, it's called Paddy Mills Skills. So we're going to work through three different exercises. They are some figure of eights, body wraps, and then we're going to do a toss, clap, and catch to finish off. The first exercise, grab your basketballs, step back from the, uh, from the camera a little bit so you can see me but you've got some space, all right? We're gonna start with figure of eight. So what you've got to do is you're gonna spread your feet pretty wide, okay? A bit wider than hip distance. And we're gonna get the ball in our right hand, okay? We're gonna put it through our legs, pass it through to our left hand, pick it up, bring it in front of our left leg and pass it through and around our right leg. So it goes like this. So we're going through, and around to our left, through to our right, and around, and then back and through to our left. So we're doing a figure of eight. So if you were to map out the figure of eight in your head, we're going through our leg like that, and then through the other leg. So in front, in front, bringing the ball around in front of your body and passing it from one hand to another. Now, if you're new to this and you've just started playing basketball or this is your first time doing basketball, your basketball might be a bit big. It might be too big if you don't have your size four or five. You might have to roll it along the ground. That's okay. So if I'm here, I've still got a nice wide stance. I'm going to roll the ball because I might not be able to pass it from hand to hand. So I'm still going to roll it around my foot. But let's focus on the foot instead of the leg. So I'm going to roll it around my left foot. Then I'm going to bring it through and roll it around my right foot. Excellent. Okay. Starting from now, I want everyone to do 10 of those. 10 of those, so both legs equals one. Good job. Excellent, all right, I can see a few of you. Heath, that is perfect, well done, Heath. Good, Marley, if you can't pass it through, those are some big basketballs. Good, Harrison, pass it through one leg and then the other. Good job, well done. Can't quite see you, Xavier, passing it along the ground, good job. Excellent, Vivian, passing it through. That's another good one. Vivian's doing a really good one there, guys. So if you're somewhere between passing it all the way through your legs and doing it on the ground, you can roll it around your leg as well. So you can press it into your leg and roll it around, get it to the other leg and roll it around. That's going to be similar to the body wraps we're going to do later. Once you've done 10, give me a little thumbs up. We're going to go to our next drill. So that's just a figure of eight, just helping us get used to handling the ball. All right, good job. 
Thumbs up, Phoenix. Awesome. Thumbs up, Boston, Atlanta. Well done. All right, great. Good stuff, guys. Awesome. All right, stepping away. Next one. This is body wraps. So now, similar thing, but we're staying standing up. And we're going to start with our tummies. So same thing. We've got some big basketballs and some little, little hands. That's okay. Everyone can do this. So the goal is to get to the point where we're passing it around our bodies without the ball touching our body. But that's, that's probably not where we're at just yet. So we're going to roll the ball around our tummies onto our back and bring it back around tummy onto our back. And that's our body wrap. Now you might be able to pass to your back and then roll it around, pass across your body and then roll it around. I want you to just do what you can do, what's within your capabilities, okay? So if you can go all the way around like this, awesome, great. If you need to roll the whole the way around, terrific. If you can pick it up, pass it from left hand to right hand, put it on your side, roll it around your back, pick it up again and pass it from your left hand to your right hand, do that. Starting from now, we're gonna do 10. We're gonna do 10 from left to right, like this, okay? We're gonna go 10 like this or 10 rolling around our body. We're gonna slowly pick this session up as we get going, okay? So if you've done these drills before, don't stress that, you know, it's a bit too easy. There'll be some challenges coming up, don't you worry. Excellent, guys. We've got one more I wanna take you guys through. And I'm gonna show you a couple you can practice in the meantime. Once you've done 10, give me a thumbs up. Awesome, Phoenix, well done. Good, Evelyn. Matt, I don't know if that's Matt, or there's two, there's two kids there. That might be dad's name. Patty, how are you going there, Patty? Good job, Evelyn. Good job. Excellent. Harrison, all done. Awesome. All right. This one. Now, this one's a bit of a challenge. Again, if we've got some mini hoopers, we might have some real youngsters in the group today, which is terrific. Okay, we've got some real youngsters. This might be your first time playing basketball. Okay, so catching might still be a new skill to you. And that's okay. So this is called. This is basically like a toss and catch, but we're gonna to toss and clap. Okay, I just knocked my headphones off. So <laughs> what that will look like is you might just toss it here and clap once, boom, once. And then what you might try and do is go one, two, clap. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, I don't wanna see anyone throwing it. If I throw this basketball up in the air right now, it's gonna end up on the roof. Okay, cause it's pretty windy here. All right, so we're gonna be really careful. So we're gonna challenge ourselves. Okay, but we're not competing against each other just yet because otherwise we'll have kids tossing basketballs on the roof. And again, I'm going to get some invoices from some angry parents. So let's just go little, little tosses here. One, two, three, boom. Okay, okay, so really speedy clap. Keep your eye on the ball. One, two, three, four, boom. All right, I want you to have, we're going to have five attempts, five attempts now. So we're just working on hand eye coordination, making sure we're watching the ball into our hands. One, two, three, four, five. See if anyone can beat five. No heroes here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. All right, six, five attempts, and then we're going to stop. But people that are indoors, if you're indoors and you can't throw too high because of the roof, let it bounce once. So throw it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let it bounce and catch it. Okay? You can have a little advantage if you're inside. Because some of these sessions we, we might have to do inside if it's raining. We might have to be in the shed or something. Boom. All right, five attempts. How did we go? You can turn your mic off. You can turn your microphone on. Sorry, you can unmute yourself. Tell me how many you got. I got seven on the bounce, which is which is cheating because I'm outdoors. Did anyone beat seven? Oh, Who yeah. beat seven? Yeah. We got seven. I got seven. Boston got six. Oh, Boston. Okay, good job. Atlanta got seven. Boston yeah. got six. Who else? Did anyone beat seven? I got nine. Kelly Sports. You got nine. Oh, well done. How good is nine? Who was that? I got Playing ten. Nine. Oh, ten. Well, there's an honesty policy here too, guys. Oh, nice. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. But Evelyn, say so you got one. I got oh, one. Got, got one. Well done. That's great. You're just learning. You're just getting started. That's good. Okay, guys, grab a really quick drink. Really, really quick drink. And then we're going to come back. And we're going to do fundamentals of ball handling. I'm going to give you some more challenges in between. Grab a quick drink. If you don't want a drink, jump up. We're just going to do some some hand-eye coordination stuff, okay? So this is a couple of extras that we've got for our Patty Mills skills. If you want to do these before um, before we return to stadium or before our next session, okay. it's up to you. I'm afraid to catch. <laughs> so we're just going to toss the ball. If you don't want a drink or you're back from your drink already, we're just tossing the ball 
from hand to hand. So what it looks like is just in your fingertips, tossing the ball hand to hand, just like that. Nice soft fingertips, nice soft hand. Catching, tossing back and forth. If you're new to it, you might just be here. Or one of the other things you can do, if you're learning still, I'm just going to mute. That should be okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're just going to, if you can't do the toss back and forth, okay, if your basketball's a bit too big and your hands are a little small, they're still growing, just do like a ball slap. Slap, rotate, slap, rotate. Slap the ball, rotate. You should be able to hear that sound the ball makes. Slap, rotate the ball, slap, rotate the ball. That's just helping us learn how the ball feels in our hands. And when there's pressure on the ball and getting a little bit more comfortable handling the ball. All right. If, you, if you're more comfortable with that, you can go really close like this and start to tap the ball back and forth in your fingertips. All right. Because that's going to form the basis of how we do our ball handling. And then you can get some bigger throws like that. All right. We should have everyone back by now. Terrific. We're going to go into our fundamentals of ball handling. So what we want to be doing, another word for ball handling, and this might come up a little bit later in our, uh, in our trivia or in our quiz, but another name for ball handling is dribbling. Okay, so dribbling. So what we're going to do, really simple. If you haven't dribbled before, that's okay. If you've never done ball handling or dribbling before, we're going to start very basic. All right, we're going to step away from the camera again. So we're going to get moving a little bit. And we're going to just start with some low control dribbles. Now, if you've never dribbled a basketball before, that all sounds very simple. You might need to start with two hands on the ball. And you might just be dropping it, picking it up again. Dropping it, picking it up again. That's okay. The next step from that is to try and get continuous dribbles with one hand. Okay? So first step, if you're just starting out today, we're just dropping the ball, catching it, dropping the ball, catching it, or maybe pushing it with your left hand and catching it with two. Catching it with two. If you can go continuous now, which I know a few of us can because we've done Aussie hoops before, we're dribbling on the left hand and we don't want the ball really coming too high. So we don't want to be dribbling up here just yet. We want to keep the ball at about our waist height, somewhere between our knee and our waist. Okay. So somewhere around here, we're going to go left hand. I want you to go for, I want you to go 10 dribbles on your left hand. 10 dribbles on your left hand. Evelyn, if you're, if you're not confident, just drop it down and pick it up again, okay? That's going to help you get the hang of that movement and the timing of the ball. And then when you feel confident, you might not be able to go 10 in a row. You might go one or two, and then you want to grab it again. One, two, grab it again. Or you might go one, two, three, and then the ball starts coming to the ground. That's okay as well, because you'll eventually, you'll go from getting three to getting four, four to getting five, five to getting six. Excellent. I can see everyone doing a great job of that. Once we've done our left hand, okay, swap it over to our right. So same thing on our right. If you're just starting out, same thing again. Drop it, catch it. Drop it, catch it. If you're at that next step, one, two, catch it, or one, two, and it starts going to the ground, start to try and get that timing. So think of your hand like a dog's paw. So I think most of you have seen a dog. You can probably hear mine in the background a dog's paw patting at a ball or something, okay? Or patting at another dog. So we're going here. We're going for 10 dribbles now on our right hand. 10 dribbles here between our knee and our waist. We want to keep the ball somewhere in there. All right, 10 dribbles, keep going. I'm going to come and have a watch. How's everyone doing? See Robert, good job. Excellent. How are the Armstrong kids going? Good as ever. They're all out there. Got the pound dribble going. Excellent. Well done, Phoenix. Excellent. Sasha and Sean, well done. Excellent. See how many dribbles you can get in a row. That's good. Is that Sean there? Just drop it and catch it. Drop it and catch it. Good job, mate. Excellent. Good boy. Then see if you can go to one hand with a dribble and catch. Excellent. All right. Next drill. Okay, everyone hold it there. Now we are going to mix up our heights. So again, if you're dropping and catching, that's okay. But we're going to mix up our height. So that was just a standard sort of a control dribble. Okay, at about a hip height. Okay, somewhere between our knee and waist. Now we're going to go really low. So we're going to go as low as we possibly can. So we're going to try and dribble 
really low and you can probably hear that through my speaker how quickly that bouncing noise boom 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 because i'm low now this is pretty challenging okay so again if you're just still at the stage of dropping and catching you're just going to get really low i'll oh, move back here really low drop catch drop catch drop catch and you're just going to get used to feeling how much quicker when you're down nice and low how much quicker the ball comes back to your hand all right or we're going to progress and we're going to go 10 left and 10 right. So we're here. Yeah. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then 10 on the right. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay. Challenge yourself. 10 left, 10 right, as low as you can. Good job, guys. You can see you all on the camera. Good work, Matt. Good work, Armstrong kids. Excellent. Remy, good job. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Nice and low. Good. Good patty. It's all right if the ball trails off. If the ball trickles away, that's okay. That's going to happen. That's part of learning. So don't worry about that. Every time you make a mistake, that's good. That's an opportunity. The next time you may not make the same mistake because you're just learning at the moment. Good job, Heath. That's good. Good job, Zave. Put the beanie on. Excellent. All right. Give us a thumbs up. 10 left, 10 right, low dribble. All right. We've got two more, two more. Now that we're starting to get into some more complex dribbling movements, we can talk a little bit more about the technique. So it's really important when we're dribbling that we use our fingertips. All right. And the reason being is because they can feel a lot better than what their palm can or our wrist or anything else. Our fingertips have a lot more nerves in them and we have a lot more control over them, right? They're a lot more agile. So if the ball bounces a funny way, I can move my hand and my fingers and move around a lot more. Whereas my palm, for starters, my palm's not flat. It's got the ridges here and here and here. So I'm going to hit the ball in different directions. It's going to be constantly, whereas my fingers can learn by doing, can learn how the ball is absorbed and then how I bounce it back down. Okay, so we want to use our fingertips. So this next one, this is going to be a bit of fun. Again, if you're inside, I want you to be really careful, but now we're going to go high dribble. Okay, so if you're bouncing with two hands, I want you to bounce up nice and high and catch it. Bounce up nice and high and catch it. If you are dribbling with one hand, if you if you progress to that stage, I want a nice high dribble at your shoulder. So again, keeping your hand over the ball. I don't want to see people like that and then carrying the ball, like getting their hand under it and slamming it back down. Okay, I want you to bend your knees, bounce and keep the ball, keep, try and keep your hand over the ball. So you've got some level of control over where it's going. Try and keep your hand over the ball. You're just bouncing it with a bit more force and feeling how that feels coming back up into your hand at about shoulder or head height. Again, be careful if you're indoors. If you're doing a two hand dribble, Okay, try and use your left hand more than what the other hand. So try and start left hand, dribble with one and catch with two. Dribble with one, catch with two. All right, and then see if you can get a couple of dribbles, a couple of big high dribbles in a row. Get the feeling for that basketball. Okay, it takes, a, it takes practice, but it's a lot of fun. Good job, guys. Excellent. Okay, we're doing 10 on either side. So big high dribbles if you're at that point. Good job, Heath. Paddy, good job. Get that two hand one. Good. Olivia, looks like a couple there. Boston and Atlanta, how are you guys going? You guys, do, you guys doing your high dribbles or you've already finished? If you've already finished, you can practice any of the dribbles we've been doing. Good job. Looks like Dean and Dad there. I don't know. Oh, there's Sasha. Good job, guys. Well done. Good job, Marley. Thumbs up. If you've done 10 high dribbles on your left and right, give me a thumbs up. Awesome. Well done, guys. Excellent. Thumbs up. Awesome. All right. Last one with our fundamentals of ball handling. Okay. Last one. It's called a crossover. Now, this is, I don't expect too many to get this right away, but a crossover is where we're going to go from our right hand or our left hand, and we're going to go across our body. So, again, you might use both hands. You might go across your body, catch it with one. So, if I'm going to start, this is my right hand. I know it's a little bit mirrored in the, uh, in the screen here. That's my right hand. I might hold the ball with two hands. If I'm just starting out, one of our younger Aussie hoopers or maybe a mini hooper, okay, I might start with the ball right hand, but with two hands, I'm going to push it across with my right and catch it with both. Now it's in my left hand. 
I'm going to push it across with my left, catch it with two. Push across with my right, catch with two. Push across with my left, catch with two. See how my body's moving from side to side too? That's key to the crossover. If you're at that next step, you might go cross and back. And so you don't bring that second hand onto it. You might go to your left hand and back without putting two hands on it and then catch it. So you might go right to left, left back, catch. Okay. Or you might keep going. You might just go right, left, right, left. Okay. And that's a crossover. Okay. You might be at a stage where you're a bit more comfortable standing more upright and just dribbling straight down and up, but just using your left hand, then your right hand, left hand, then your right hand. I don't mind either way. Whichever level you're at is okay. I just want to see 10 crossovers from now. Okay. So 10 crossovers from now, this is one. So we go right to left. That's one. There's two. Okay. There's three. You might go forward, back, catch. That's one. You might go across, back. There's two. Or you might just go both hands, across and back. All right, there's one. Catch it with two. Across, catch it with two. Depends on what level you're at. Just challenge yourself. Thumbs up, Phoenix. Geez, Phoenix, you finish first every time, I reckon. You've been unreal. Well done. <laughs> Too good. Keep going, guys. That's really good. Keep going so you can throw it across with two. I can see some youngsters there. I think Boston, Atlanta. Yep, got a thumbs up there. Perfect. Awesome. So remember, two hands is okay. We're not, we're not playing in a game yet. We're not going to get pulled up for that. So we're just learning to catch and to drop the ball. And then we can slowly progress back and forth, boom, back and forth, boom. Okay, if you've done that, thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Awesome. Excellent. Grab a quick drink. And I've got a bit of a surprise for you guys when you come back. What are we at? 3.30? We're right on time here. Grab a quick drink. Come back to the screen. We are going to do some trivia. If I can, I'm a bit rusty. If I can figure out how to share the screen here. I was on fire before having muted myself. So any parents that were watching would have enjoyed that. All right, here we go. A bit of trivia. Now it's basketball theme. There are some rules to this trivia. I'm going to share the screen. Hopefully this works. Where are we? Yep. Bang, share, how's that looking? Not so good so far. Oh. oh, here we go. Mossy is sharing his screen. Okay, and let's get into, don't look at the questions yet, guys. Bit of an honesty policy. There we go. Can everyone see that? Give me a thumbs up. Yep. Thumbs up if you can see Frankston Basketball Sunday Trivia for the beginner session. Terrific. Now, as I mentioned, we have some rules. I want to see some interaction in this. So I do want microphones off at some stage, but please don't ruin it for anyone else. All right. Don't call out the answers if you, if you know it. Um, that's okay. If you know it, you unmute yourself and you can answer. That's, that's great. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, but before you do that, you have to click the thumbs up emoji. Now, I don't know if you can all see where that is. If, if you're on an iPhone, there is an emoji in the function. So if you go to chat, you should be able to type a thumbs up or there may even be a thumbs up. Let's see if we can find that. Let's get up here again. Yeah. So if you can chuck a thumbs up in the chat, Thumbs up in the chat. I'll let you answer the question. So then you'll get you'll get to unmute yourself. So as soon as I see, let's. Uh, where are we? Here we go. We got people drawing, which is good fun. Let's stop that. Excellent. All right. Where's the emoji? It was a thumbs up emoji. All right, what we'll do is I can see everyone's camera. We might not be able to use the emoji. If you can't use the emoji, don't worry. That's okay, because I can see everyone's camera. So what we'll do is if you know the answer to the question, I just want you to, if you can't do the thumbs up emoji, I just want you to give me a thumbs up on the screen, okay? Give me a thumbs up on the screen and I'll be able to see you guys. All right, nice and easy. All right, we're going to get going. We're going to get moving here. So we've got one chat already. 
There it is there. So Arnav used the thumbs up. It's on an iPad. So I'm on a laptop and I'm on an iPad. But if you're on the iPad and you click the three dots in the right top right-hand corner, thanks for that, you should be able to see a raise hand or a thumbs up or a love heart. There's heaps of fun stuff. If you give me a thumbs up or a raise hand, I'll see it and I'll, 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 I'll let you answer the question, all right? Once I call your name, unmute your microphone and give us your answer. All right, here we go. First question. Xavier raised his hand. Too early, mate. How do you know the answer? I haven't asked the question. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. All right, here we go. First question. Oh. What is it called in basketball when you bounce the ball? We just learned this. What is it? Nice, easy one to get us started. Who's got a thumbs up or a raised hand? Quickly. Oh, Vivian. Yep, Vivian, do you want to unmute yourself? Dribbling. Well done. Yes. Big clap for Vivian. Well done. That's the correct answer. Where's the clap emoji? There you go. Bang. You get a clap. Well done. All right. Dribbling. That's what it's called when we bounce the basketball. Okay. Ball handling, but dribbling is the, is the sort of colloquial term. Okay. Question two. What is the name of the Australian men's basketball team? They just won a bronze medal. First one in men's basketball Olympic history. Armstrong kids, you got some help from behind you there, Armstrong kids. I'm still going to give you a chance. So go yeah. on, chuck your, chuck your microphone on. Um, boomers. boomers. We watched yep. it. The whole game. Boomers. You watched it? Yeah. I, how good was it? I nearly cried. I was, I've watched a lot of Olympics where we've come fourth and a lot of world championships, and I felt very emotional. But that's right, Boomers. Well done. One to the Armstrong kids, one to Vivian. Okay. Next question. Everyone doing really well. Stay locked in here. Name one team in the WNBL, the Women's National Basketball League. Phoenix, you got your hand up? Or is that, is that stayed there from before? No. Name one team from the WNBL. There's two, there's three in Victoria. Three in Victoria, and there's a couple of players from Frankston Blues in that photo right there to the left. Does anyone know a team in the WNBL? A Victorian team just won the championship last year. They play out at Danny Nong Stadium. Vivian, again to take a commanding lead. Do you want to unmute? Dancing on Rangers. Oh, I I will... Does anyone have an... I will award that a... a what is a point? They actually... They they are the team. They've been, they've been a WNBL team for decades, but they just changed their name to something else. You can see number four in the middle there. That's what Dandenong is now. Can you see the name on number on Jenner O'Hay in the middle there? It starts with an F. Does anyone know the name that Dandenong Rangers now play with? They're a partnered club with Frankston. We've got a few players in our Frankston Blues team that play for them. Anybody? Nah. All right. It's the Southside Flyers is the name. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to give Vivian the points there. So she takes the lead. So Southside Flyers is the name of the team that now plays out of Dandenong. We also have the Melbourne Boomers who play out of State Basketball Centre and the Bendigo, uh, the Bendigo Spirit. Not the Braves. I nearly called them the Braves. Bendigo Spirit. You can see on the far left there's Darcy Garvin. She plays for our NBL1 women's team. And to her, the lady who plays for Bendigo and also plays for our women's team at Frankston with Darcy. And she just got back from the Olympics. So there we go. Okay, next question. Name two types of dribbling moves. We just did some dribbling. We did one move to finish off with. Who can raise their hand here? Who can give me two types of dribbling move? Who's got a raised hand? Phoenix? Yep. Phoenix, you looked excited like you knew it then. Go for it. Um, 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 dribb dribbling in crossovers. Yeah. Can you name a type of crossover? That's right, Harrison. It is Michael Jordan. Who can name the other person in that photo? Phoenix, what's, can you name two types of crossovers even? I'd accept that as a win. You definitely get a half point already because a crossover is one. What, what did we do first? Just, just a normal standard dribble? What would you call that? It starts with C. Or two different types of crossovers. Do you know two different types of crossovers? Does anyone want to help Phoenix out? That's okay. You've got you definitely got at least half a point there, Phoenix, with the crossover. Who can name two types of crossovers? Looks like Mason maybe has his hand up. Mason, do you know two types of crossovers? 
No, nah, hands down now. Harrison, you got your hand up. Go on, Harrison. What are the types of crossovers? Between the legs crossover and behind the back crossovers. Perfect. That's exactly right. Which one do you reckon the player there is about to do? So we're between the legs and behind the back. What do you reckon? I'm trying to do a crossover. Yeah, I reckon that's... Yeah, I reckon that's... Alan Iverson's about to go between the legs there on Michael Jordan. Okay, last question. This will be... If anyone gets this, I will be baffled. So we might need some parent help here. I'm happy for the parents to, rather than hiding behind the screen, pretending like you're not helping, jump on the screen and see if you can get this one. All right, she was an absolute, absolute superstar. Absolute superstar at the Opal. She plays for the Melbourne Boomers. How do we spell Ezzy's last name? Who knows who Ezzy is? How do we spell Ezzy's last name? It starts with an M. It's a longer name. Does anyone know how we spell Ezzy's last name before we get back into our games? It starts with an M followed by an A. Does anyone have a thumbs up or a hand up? Feel free to just chuck your mic on for this one if you think you know it or you want to have a crack at it. Boston and Atlanta, is that a thumbs up there or has that just been living there? Go on, Boston, Atlanta. Yep, go for it. Um... What is her last name? Starts with an M and then goes A, Mag G. Mag M A G. M Mag. Yep. B Mag. Okay. B -E. B Mag. Mag Bega. Yep. I'll I'll accept that. Well done, Mag Bega or Mag Begor. Yep. Well done. Excellent. She's a superstar. Plays for the Seattle uh, Storm in the WNBA as well right now, which has just started. So great work, guys. All right, that's, that's our trivia for today. So well done, everyone. We're going to jump back up and we're going to play a game. You'll need your cones. Hopefully my screen stopped sharing there. All right, we're back on. So grab your basketballs. We're going to need some cones. Now, What's the time here? We're doing okay for time. We're going to play a game called Farmer's Gate. So we're going to start to combine a few of our skills and drills here. So we've got a cone. All right, I'm going to put it, I'm going to just start laying cones out about two, a foot apart. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. I might even grab my, uh, my camera here and I'll show you guys around. So I'm going to make some space. Make sure you've got plenty of space. If you're doing this with your brother or sister, that's okay. All right, there's my cones. Oh, Harrison, your internet isn't working. Oh, no, mate, you better get back inside. So, so you guys can see, have a look there how I've got pairs of cones laid out like that all around my little sort of playing area and over there. Okay, they're my gates. They're my gates. All right, so this is a good drill. Even if you're just starting dribbling, all right, Harrison, you check your internet. Even if you're just starting dribbling and basketball, you can still do this drill because you can walk around because we're going to get moving and you can still just dribble the ball like so and pick it up. We're going to go for 30 seconds. The aim of the game is to get through as many gates as you possibly can. Okay, so try and set up a, try and set up a bit of an area where you are. Try and set up an area so that you can see, uh, so that you can, you've got three or four gates that you can go through. You might just use sticks or rocks. Uh, you might use shoes. You might even just use cracks in the concrete. I'm, it's a bit of an honesty policy. I'm lucky I've got some cones here. If you don't have cones, that's okay. But the idea is that when I start the clock, when I start the clock, you guys are going to dribble and you're going to go through your gates. Okay, so I've got a gate down here. I'm going to dribble through. I've got a gate down here. I'm going to dribble through. And we're going to go as fast as we can for 30 seconds. All right, and then I'm going to let you know, and then we're going to stop, and we're going to see who got through the most gates. So I can see some terrific setups there. All right, everyone jump up and step away from the camera when you've got your gates set up and you're ready to go. Just be careful if you're sharing an area with a brother or sister, you don't have a head knock, you don't run into each other. Again, I don't want any invoices or any lawsuits come out of this Zoom session, please. So make sure you've got plenty of space for both of you to compete, or you can go one at a time. All right, stepping away from the camera like I am now. You can see here I'm standing behind one of my gates. Okay, so I'm ready to go through this gate. We're going to start. Pick up your basketballs in three, two, one. Here we go. Through as many gates as we can. 
You can't just stand there and go through the same gate. You've got to go through a different gate each time. So we're moving our feet, we're keeping our eyes up, keeping our eyes up to see where we're going. Good job, everyone. Keep working. Go as fast as you can without losing control of the basketball. If you're just starting out and you're dribbling like this with two hands, that's okay as well. Move your feet. We've got 10 seconds. Good job. 10 seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Terrific. Harrison's just there doing crossovers through the legs. Hold it there. How many gates did we get? Good job, Vivian. I can see you've got some shoes there or using drink bottles. Well done. How many did we get? You can turn your mic on if you want. How many gates did you get through? Five for Marley. Twenty. Twenty. Wow. That's I did. A, I did fifteen. Okay, ten. You did fifteen. Ten. Well done. Well done. I'm strong. Kids, twenty. Well done. All right. Next okay. one. So same game. Twenty-five. Mom, I have made a muscle. <laughs> well done, Xavier. All right, microphones off again. We're gonna have one more go. One more go. All right. This time, this is. I'm gonna really challenge you guys. Listening, and now you got to be really, really careful, especially if you've got a brother or sister there, or mum or dad playing with you. Really tough. Now we're gonna go backwards. So you've got to go backwards through the gates. So we're going to walking backwards, backwards, keeping our eyes up, keeping our backs turned like that. And we're going to rotate and we're going to go backwards through our gate. Now you can run forward if you want. You can run forward and then turn around and go backwards. We're going to run forward, turn around and go backwards, run forward, turn around and go backwards. Okay, we're going to do that for 30 seconds. You can either go backwards the whole time or you can sprint forward and go backwards through your gate. But the gate only counts if you go backwards through it. You ready? Everyone up, away from the camera. Basketball's ready. Who's having a sing there? Is that Xavier? All right, three, two, one. Here we go. Dribbling backwards through our gates. Keep control of the ball. It's a bit harder now. The ball bounces in a different direction. So backwards, backwards. Jogging backwards, don't trip over. Go for 30 seconds. Got 20 seconds to go. Move your feet, move your feet. Get our heart rate up a little bit. Move your feet, move your feet. Excellent. Here we go. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two. And one. Stop there. Well done. Excellent. What did we get? Did anyone get more going backwards? Shouldn't have. Nine. That's good. Vivian, well done. 20. 10. And well done. Actually, I got 13. 13. Well done, guys. That's excellent. 15 from the Armstrong kids in Mali. That's good. Going backwards, but we do sometimes we do have to dribble backwards, so it's a good skill to learn too. It's a bit advanced, but you guys did really well with that today. Okay, oh, right, we've gone a little bit over time. If you have to go, you can go, but I've got five minutes up my sleeve, so we are going to move to our next game really quickly our Olympics and Paralympics. So, what we have today, it's a little bit more physically sort of challenging than it is basketball, but it's still good fun. All right, we're going to do a bit of a long jump challenge. All right, so I want you to grab two of your markers. If you have cones, great. If you're using shoes, that's okay. If you're using stones or rocks, all right, we're going to do a long jump challenge to test our athleticism a little bit. So I want you to mark a spot. So I'm going to start back here at the back of my car here. I'm going to put a cone down. Long jump challenge. We're only going to have one attempt at this. So I'm going to start where my cone is. You can do this side by side with a brother or sister. I'm going to take a big, long jump. Okay, so I'm going to start up nice and high, swing my arms through, and then I'm going to jump out. Oh, okay, like that. And I'm going to put my cone down at the back of my heel. All right, and now I'm going to measure that long jump. So I want you guys working, leaping out as far as you can. Can you guys see that? There's my jump there. That's enormous. So I am known for my athleticism. Okay. Now I'm going to measure it with my feet. So I want you all to have a go at that. 
I'm going to go with my feet. Now, my feet are pretty big. One, two, three, four, and we'll go five. Okay, so mine's five of my feet. See if anyone can beat that. So use a cone or you can use a line on the concrete. Do a big leap out as far as you can. Land nice and softly. Type in the, uh, type in the chat how far you were able to jump. Or you can turn your microphone on. So big jump. So start with one cone. Good, Vivian. Good, Phoenix. So no run up. You do, oh, she's got the run up. <laughs> well done, Phoenix. <laughs> I, I didn't explicitly say no run up, but I did mean just to be. I, I did seven. One big long leap. Seven. Well done. Seven feet. That's pretty good. Five feet by Marley. Well done. Big two, big two legged jump. All right. Really good to practice our jumping and our landing. Really good to practice our jumping and landing that one. See if you can challenge yourself to beat that during the week. Okay. Seven from Matt. Excellent. What well up, Matt? All right, guys. How many? That's you? about it from us today. If you want to keep putting your scores up, you can. Okay. We've got a few more. There's plenty of those drills you can work on in your own time. Okay. Don't forget the Paddy Mills skills. Get a basketball in your hand if you're lucky enough to have a hoop outside like I do. Good job. Who's that? Paddy got seven. Well done. If you're lucky enough to get a hoop outside like I am, come and practice. Do some shooting. All right. Make sure you do all your schoolwork. Make sure you do all your schoolwork. Be good to your parents. All right. And we'll hopefully be back in the stadium as soon as possible doing our, uh, doing our sessions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, stay stay active, stay healthy, and we'll see you again soon, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Bye. We'll see you next time. See you, guys. Yeah, Enjoy the rest Bye. of your Sunday. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you. Good on Bye. you. See you, man. Good on you, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. See you, Bye. 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 See you, Remy. Bye. Bye, Bye Jess. Bye. Good on you. Bye. Bye. Where's your name? See you, guys. Oh, how are we going? Hey guys.